that hits. Welcome back to my channel, Chico Miria, and today, today, baby, we have ourselves a shrimp stir fry. Well, more like shrimp and peppers. Our, um, I don't know what else to say about this. I probably remember what I want to say as I get into it. But um, if you're looking for the shrimp powder, I actually got that from my local grocery store. Probably, it's probably like a year ago. I want to say like a year ago, I got the shrimp powder from my local grocery store. Um, simple, easy, 10 minutes, 10 minutes from cutting the veggies to sauteing the shrimp to getting every 10 minutes. I promise you, you can have something very tasty and uh, very good. One minute uh, microwavable rice. Okay. You all know I'm trying to cut my calories. Okay. And this is the kind of stuff I've been eating. Like I'm going to eat. Okay. I'm going to eat even in trying to uh, lose some pounds, okay? So, I'm gonna stop talking, and let's begin out. And yes, I'm gonna have carbs, but it's portioned. It's portioned out. Come, come on, baby. Get a little pebble in there. Get a little pebble. Mm -hmm. Can you focus on me? <laughs> baby, it's not focusing. All right, let's go. That hits so good. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Oh. I cooked this off camera last week. And I thought I'd, I'd fix it for you guys. It's so good. Mmm. And don't worry about the sauce. If it looks like chunky in the pan, just keep mixing it on the lowest heat, heat setting as possible. Okay, when it's time to make the sauce. Because it's going to go in at high temperature. All you need is about four ounces of water. Because that's why I want you to let it sit in the pan for about another two minutes after you're finished cooking. Because with all that sodium that's in here, those veggies are going to just kind of like start to wilt out. And it's going to make more water. Mmm. And that's why you don't want to overcook your veggies in the beginning anyway. Just enough to cook that garlic. Literally, veggies, just one minute. That's it. Mmm! I could eat this every week.
I kid you not. It is so good. Be careful, and that's why I use my, um, I know I'm talking, I'm rambling a lot, but I just wanted to let you guys know where I'm coming from. In a situation like that, you typically use a wok. But I didn't want to cook it at a very extremely high heat because I use olive oil. And in using olive oil, you can't, you're not supposed to anyway, have it set over a certain amount, a certain temperature, or otherwise it'll oxidize and you're not going to get the nutritional value from the, um, from the olive oil, from the extra virgin olive oil. You know what I'm saying? So having it at 400 and 500 degrees, that's why most in age of cuisines, they use a neutral oil, like vegetable oil or canola oil. You can also use another neutral oils like grapeseed oil, avocado oil. They're neutral oils because they don't take away the taste from the actual food. And with all this sauce in here, I really can't I can't taste the um, the extra virgin olive oil. But if you want to keep its nutri nutritional value, you have to have your heat at a not so high temperature. You know what I'm saying? And look at me, education, culinary ed. Okay. How are you doing? I know you've missed me <laughs> like a whole month off. I know. When I went out of town, I did a little mini vlog and all that kind of stuff. And yesterday, guys, I had a cheat day. I give myself a cheat day once a week. More like a cheat meal, not a whole field full day. Baby, I went to this restaurant. It's called Take Your Pick. It's located right here in Salisbury, Maryland. What I mean is a definite must try. I'm gonna show mine what I had to eat. But as I'm talking, I got the shrimp and grits, and I got a piece of I think it was trout that I got. I think the fish was trout that I got because they ran out of catfish. So I got the trout and a side of greens and a side of um, sweet potato casserole, the sweet potato casserole, baby, 10 out of 10. If you are coming on the Eastern shore at all, please stop by, take your pick. It's very small and they really don't advertise much on social media. And I wish they would because Shout out to Shay, who is the owner. It's her, her mother, and her husband that work there. It's been open two years, and it is fantastic. You know you want that food that's like home, but you want to go out to dine out to get it. You necessarily don't want to cook it yourself. Trust me when I say it's a 10 out of 10. Delicious. And they were so kind and so sweet, so shout out to them. I'm taking my parents next week. So good, so good on my next cheat day <laughs> or cheat meal. I'm going back to them. Oh, so good. Well, this is season two perfection. Delicious. Mm. So again, take your pick off of Mount Homer Road in Salisbury, Maryland, please. Please tell them I sent you. Mm. So good. I'll link that information in the description box below. So check the, the, description, the, the description box below. Mm -mm -mm -mm. With this, 10 minutes in your kitchen, done. I could you not. <clears throat> I 
So how are you guys doing today? <laughs> how are you doing? I'm doing just fine. This is a definite must try. It's absolutely delicious. It's something quick and easy. And if you're like me, you already had all these ingredients in your house. Except for the rice. I went and got the rice yesterday. But delicious. I wanted ton of tons of vegetables. And I chose the brown rice because I wanted the fiber, you know? I'm trying. But my, my next video might be a bad video. <laughs> I'm a bad girl video. No, probably something else. Either it's gonna be healthy, borderline healthy, or it's so good. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> Baby, I missed you guys so much. I missed you so much. I missed you so much. When I don't film, it's not until I get on here on camera, if, I'm, if I've been gone for a little while, so I'm like, gosh, I missed, I missed you. I really have. Mmm. 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 -mm. Actually, I'm, get, I'm getting full. <laughs> Cause again, when I had this, I didn't have the rice. I'm gonna cut it here. No, I'm gerbil cheeks. So if you're new to the channel, baby. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for being a part of the fam. As always, I really appreciate all of you. God bless you all. And I'll see you on my next video. Peace.